and I am back in my 3D printing studio after one month of what I thought was going to be a well-deserved Swedish vacation. Instead, I spent the entire month teaching my 71-year-old dad how to 3D print. But I have a feeling that I have missed countless of just must-print prints on Maker World. So in today's video, we're going to cover the top 10 prints that you need to try out in September. And we're gonna start with a probably must print for all Bamboo Lab A1 users out there. This on off switch, which uh, looks a little bit more complicated than it actually is. Uh, but basically this just gives the functionality of turning on and off the actual printer, which you might know if you're a Bamboo Lab A1 owner, the on off switch is actually located on the back of the printer. But using this very, I would say genius design, uh, you basically just transfer the switch button to this little uh, lever here in the front. But why is it not installed on my Bamboo Lab A1? Well, it turns out, correct me if I'm wrong, please, but it turns out, I think, that this is not compatible with the top mount AMS light stands. At least I could not make it work because uh, this little on off switch here in the back uh, just goes out a little bit too far. So it actually bumps into the, I guess, left back stand of this AMS light top mount stand. Uh, so we can actually not properly turn on and off the, the switch. I don't know if there's a workaround. Maybe I did something wrong when I installed the, the mount or maybe when I installed this one. So for me, I sadly have to prioritize my top mounted AMS light. Next print, which uh, definitely doesn't even claim to be useful, I think, is this over-engineered mechanical fidget hand, which I have to say is a lot easier to use than what I first thought. I don't know if this is considered useful, but uh, it's definitely fun. But the reason for why this is on the list is because this is just print in place and this um, thumb here uh, comes in and you just like plug it in there and I think having these kind of like little toys that that is like mechanical like it moves it does something uh, I think these are just really showing the the magical world of 3d printing uh, especially if you want to print this as a, as a toy for for someone else or if you just want to get people interested in 3d printing then then these are the things that uh, that you should print because I think this is absolutely amazing something else that does not move but that I still think is equally amazing is this Mickey Mouse uh, mouse. But actually this print is not so much about Mickey Mouse himself, but it is about the actual creator Coswell. And he has tons of different cartoons, figurines and, and other characters just like this one. And this is the first time I saw his, his page, I saw his like Smurfs and like Gargamel, like my third day in Sweden, knowing that it was gonna be like more than a month until I will come back here being able to print it. And I have been thinking about this for like a month and it's the first time I've had this really urge for like literally weeks that I just really, really wanted to print something uh, and then just like putting it together for like no purpose at all other than just like pure entertainment. And there's no AMS needed at all. You print all the colors separately on uh, I think five different plates and then you just very simply just put them all together. Uh, some glue is required because otherwise uh, they would not stick together but it's super super easy and the only thing you need are the different colors but I think again this is just such an amazing like first experience in a 2D 3D printing world and even if you don't even have a 3D printer if you are using the sponsor of today's video PCB Way, you could actually order all the parts yourself separately since PCB Way not only do custom PCBs, they also do tons of different services such as CNC, injection molding and of course 3D printing in tons of different materials and colors and you can get every single one of these colors in PLA. And then their own engineers will go over the prints you provided before they actually start printing and charging you just to make sure that everything is printable. And as if that was not enough, if you do click my link down in the description, you will get $5 off your first order from PCB Way. And as I mentioned, I previously spent a month teaching my dad how to 3D print. And one of the prints that he printed, and I think the first one he printed all by himself, just going on Maker World, download, printing it out all by himself, was this chainsaw key cover, which I now, when I'm back here in Taiwan, saw that this is actually part of a key cover competition. And now after me releasing this video talking about this, I see that this key cover now is currently number one in this competition. All jokes aside, Ben is creation, who is the 
the, the owner and designer of this absolutely beautiful work. I really hope you win this uh, competition. Uh, and if anyone else wants to go there and give him a push, please do so. Uh, I have nothing to do with this and, and I don't expect you to share the prize money with me. Uh, I just thought that this is very, very good. I certainly don't have this print with me today because my dad is using it for his, uh, I guess, ATV key back home in, in Sweden. And when teaching my dad how to 3D print and make a wall and everything, uh, he really fell in love with the option of customizing. And he was actually the one showing me that you can actually filter Maker World based on if things can be customized or not. But one thing that I found that was seemed to be very popular now is the lid holder for rectangle food container. I, I tried to print this out just like getting started but I, I very quickly felt like this was like a little bit too much customization, a little bit too unnecessary. But while I was in this lid organizing uh, rabbit hole I found this very generic uh, lid cover mount. Uh, that works just as well, at least for the, the lid covers that we have. Uh, so yeah, may, just a, a friendly reminder, uh, don't have to like overthink and just because something is customizable, uh, don't have to spend any extra time if, if there is a function that, that just works. I'm sure that the customizable version uh, would have a lot of other features that this specific one does not have, uh, but this works great. And speaking about customization, the next print is this customized Spotify keychain. Um, if you did not know, Spotify is Swedish, so I have to represent as much as I can in, in these videos. And here you can actually just follow the instructions, get the exact sound wave for your specific song. In this case, this is You Are The Reason with Callum Scott, which was the song I used when I was proposing to my now wife. I'm not entirely sure if this actual keychain has anything to do with that. That, but at least the song worked and we are now very happily married. But I guess just like any kind of relationship, we do have our differences, of course, which uh, might be best illustrated uh, using this toothpaste squeezer. So you can actually just get out all the remaining toothpaste out of your toothpaste tube. Uh, my wife is Taiwanese, so she knows all the tricks uh, to do this already. She does not really need a 3D printing tool uh, because this was like literally 100% empty. Uh, and when I dug this out from the trash just for making this video. So please do show some gratification for this a little disgusting sacrifice by liking this video and subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. And just as happy as I hope my wife will be when she sees my toothpaste, I watched Happy Gilmore too on my flight over from Sweden to Taiwan. And uh, maybe I was inspired. I did come across this Happy Gilmore drinking cup. Basically, it's just a golf ball with a little container inside. The reason for why I'm including this is because if you are a new 3D printer, just like myself, like a few months ago, you may not really realize that the 3D printing is not really considered the best food safe option. So if you're a golf fan, maybe just printing it as like a fake golf ball and, and putting it to, to your friends too. It's still like a very good container for, for whatever you want, even if you don't really should be drinking or, or eating from this. So maybe this golf ball is not the most useful print on today's list. But what I do think is the most useful print on today's list is this ironing recommended settings calibration test, which is just these different squares that are all printed with different ironing settings in Bamboo Studio. And I have never really used ironing myself because I just never really get it to work. Uh, but it was very useful to see all these different settings. And of course, you can do this very simply yourself. Uh, just go into the object settings. You click on this little icon right here and you will easily get up every single setting that you can customize for every single object in your, your prints on the printing plate. So you can do all these different tests, not only for ironing, but for whatever you want to try, which by total quick coincidence is something that I am planning to do here on the channel in the future. So if that is something that you want to see me going through more or less every single setting in Bamboo Studio, please do remember to subscribe to this channel and click that bell so you do get notified when those videos come up here as well. For this specific ironing test, uh, I just tried to do some blind tests myself. Uh, I did it twice, just going through, seeing like, okay, which one do I like the least, picking them away, and then in the end, I should hopefully 
be left with one print or one ironing setting that I like more than the others. And in my case, for my specific printer, I ended up with the 60 and 30 setting uh, twice actually when I did my two different blind tests. For me, it gives me a very good starting point. So when I do want to maybe iron something in the future, uh, I know that 60 and 30 might be the best place to at least start and then work from there. And speaking about just starting, my next video here on the channel is gonna be the top 10 beginner mistakes that <clears throat> I'm not saying that my dad spent the last month doing, but I was feeling inspired teaching a even newer beginner than myself. So my next couple of videos will focus on the more mistakes and back to some Bamboo Studio tutorials again, which I think we are all looking forward to in trying to make the best prints possible here in the 3D printing YouTube sphere. And now, since you watched to the end of this video, please do help me out by subscribing to this channel, not only to get updated when I release more videos just like this one, which you obviously have enjoyed watching, I hope, but it actually helps a a lot more than you think when it comes to talking to other not only like sponsors but also other people in the 3d printing world so we can make even better greater and also more educational and more informative 3d printing videos but if this is something that you found no interest at all in please do let me know by leaving a comment what do you want to see more of on this channel some more 3d printing tutorials in bamboo studio going over some more prints uh, some maybe specific topic of prints the the best the prints for uh, super tiny crowded type A apartment. <laughs> I don't know. Regardless, thank you all so much for watching this video. My name is Lucas. Starts with Alice and like, ends with S and to subscribe. Please do both and see you all in the next one.